Okay, after this lesson, you should be able to create equivalent fractions. This is lesson 4.nf.1. These are your vocabulary words, equivalent, numerator, and denominator. Equivalent means equal in value. The numerator is the top number in a fraction that tells you the number of parts you have. The denominator is the bottom number in a fraction that tells you the number of parts in one whole. Okay, So in other words, you've got your numerator over your denominator. And the denominator always tells you how many parts there are in one whole. Okay, So here is our goal to be able to create equal fractions. So check it out. There's only one step. To create equal fractions, you multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. Okay, You have to multiply the numerator and den denominator by the same number. This means multiplying by one whole, and I'll show you what I mean. If I take one-third right here, and I want to write an equivalent fraction, I want to create an equivalent fraction, I will multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. I'm going to choose a small number, 2. So when I do that, 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 2 is 6, and 2 sixths is equivalent to one-third which means these are equal fractions. What I want you to understand is when you are multiplying by 2 and 2, what you're really doing is multiplying by one whole because 2 over 2 is equal to one whole. So 1 third times 2 over 2 is still equal to 1 third, it just looks different. Remember what happens when you multiply by 1, nothing changes. So what I'm talking about here is that 4 times 1 equals 4, 5 times 1 equals 5. When you multiply by 1, you get the same answer. And in this case with a fraction, I'm multiplying by 1 whole, which is 2 over 2, and I'm getting the same answer. It just looks different. So 2 sixths is equivalent to 1 third. All right, so let's look at the next example. I've got some fraction here that I'm multiplying by the same number, multiplying by 3 over 3, and I'm getting 9 fifteenths. Well, what number times 3 makes 9? That's right, it's 3. And what number times 3 equals 15? That's right, it's 5. So five, 3 fifths is equal to 9 fifteenths. It's equivalent to 9 fifteenths. Okay, to clear this up a little more, hopefully, I'm going to write down fractions that are equivalent to 1 fourth. Okay, we're going to make fractions that are equivalent to 1 fourth. So, right here I have a model of 1 fourth. What I'm going to do is I am going to double the number of parts. So watch right here. I'm going to double the number of parts. I still have the same amount shaded. In the first part, I have the top section shaded. In the second, I have the top section shaded. But now, instead of four total pieces, I have eight total pieces. And instead of having one that's shaded in, I have two smaller ones that are shaded in. Those are equivalent fractions. When I split each piece of this into two pieces, what I really did was do this. I multiplied the numerator and denominator by the same number. And 1 times 2 equals 2. And 4 times 2 equals 8. So 1 fourth is equivalent to 2 eighths. Let's look at the next example. 1 fourth, I'm going to split each into three sections. So I'm starting with one-fourth. Right there, that's one out of four shaded in. 
I'm going to split each piece into three pieces. Now I've got 12 pieces and three of them are shaded. So you can see one times three makes three and four times three makes twelve. So one-fourth and three-twelfths are equivalent fractions. You can see it's the same amount shaded in. It's just, it's just uh, the number of parts that's divided into. Okay? Now I could get more and more fractions equivalent to one-fourth because I could take one-fourth and multiply by four over four and get four sixteenths. Or I could take one-fourth and multiply by five over five and get five twentieths. I could do this all day long and all of these fractions are equivalent to one-fourth. Every single one of them. It's the same thing. It's just split into more pieces. Okay? So your classroom example is write two fractions that are equivalent to two-thirds. There you go. Good luck.